As we pick up the action, the Bruins lead by eight points. Dayton with the basketball. That's Johnny Davis, number 14, to Donald Smith, number 10. Now Alan Elijah, number 44, to Von Lehman, number 25. Now Smith with it, number 10. Smith is going to take a shot, and it's good. UCLA 20, Dayton 14, as Greg Lee brings the ball up for UCLA. Now David Myers with it, near wing, number 34. Gets it to Marcus Johnson at the elbow, number 54. Greg Lee is going to take a shot. It's good. 22-14 Bruins. Donald Smith with the ball for Dayton. Smith gives it to Davis. Now to Elijah, back to Davis. Looking for Mike Sylvester, number 20, but he was covered. Now Von Lehman, number 25, sets a screen for Donald Smith, who hits. John Von Lehman, center for Dayton, 6'8", senior, 220 pounds. Now Marcus Johnson with it. He's a freshman. He finds Myers at the elbow, who hits. Dave Myers, 6'8", junior, number 34 for UCLA, has put the Bruins back on top by eight. Now Von Lehman with it, number 25. Dishes to Alan Elijah, who loses it. It falls into the hands of Marcus Johnson. Make that Andre McCarter, who drives in and scores. McCarter's layup has UCLA leading by 10. With the ball, Mike Sylvester, number 20. Now Von Lehman, he has a bad pass, stolen by Marcus Johnson this time. And coast to coast goes Marcus for a layup. UCLA now leads by 12. With the ball, Donald Smith for Dayton. Now Alan Elijah gets it to John Von Lehman to Sylvester. Mike Sylvester with a bank shot that's good. Mike Sylvester, a 6'5 senior at 215 pounds. He wears number 20 for the Dayton Flyers. Now Pete Turgovich is into the game in place of Greg Lee. Jumper by Myers, no good. Tap by Marcus Johnson is no good, but there's a whistle-stopping play, and the Bruins will take it out of bounds. There's Myers with it again. He'll take another jumper. This time, it's good. UCLA leads by 12. With the ball, Donald Smith, number 10, now Johnny Davis, 14. Johnny Davis is a freshman guard. He's 6'2", 165 pounds. Smith's shot is short. Walton pulls down the rebound and gets it to McCarter. McCarter pushes it up, but there's nothing happening, so he'll slow things up and set up the offense. Marcus Johnson with it. Gets it inside to David Myers, who loses it. Out of there with it, Donald Smith. Donald Smith finds Sylvester. Sylvester to Johnny Davis, 15-footer, good. McCarter brings it up the court for the Bruins. Now Marcus Johnson, looking for Walton, finds him. Walton couldn't control the pass too well, though, so he brings it back out, and now we have a foul on Johnny Davis, who did not like the call. Walton with the ball inside. He and Myers play the two-man game briefly. Now Marcus Johnson goes into the lane, 11-footer, good. And a foul away from the ball. The three-point play gives the Bruins a 33-20 lead. With the ball, Johnny Davis, now Donald Smith. Joe Fisher, number 33, is in the high post now for Dayton, replacing number 25, Von Lehman. And now an offensive foul on Mike Sylvester, number 20, gives the ball back to UCLA. Chance to go up by 15 now. Bad pass by McCarter, and Turgovich can't control the carom. It goes back to Dayton. And Johnny Davis brings it up the floor. Jim Testerman, number 40, also in the game for Dayton, replacing 44, Alan Elijah. Jim Testerman, a 6'5", junior, at 220 pounds. Joe Fisher, a 6'8", junior, at 220 pounds. Turnover gives the ball back to UCLA, and here comes Pete Turgovich, number 25. And now he has it poked away by Donald Smith. Smith forces a shot, falling away. It's no good. Fight for the rebound. It falls into the hands of Sylvester, who hits. Mike Sylvester for Dayton draws them within 11 points. McCarter with the basketball. He protects this dribble. 
finds Marcus Johnson, who fumbles it, but gets it back. Marcus Johnson gets it over to Pete Turgovich. Now Myers, now Turgovich. McCarter at the point. Myers is fouled as he tried to cut through the lane. Fouled by Mike Sylvester, number 20. One plus one opportunity missed by David Myers, however. And here comes Dayton, still trailing by 11, with a chance to cut it to nine. Johnny Davis fakes the shot, gives it to Donald Smith. Now Testerman, Fisher. No one to pass to. Finds Testerman, whose shot is no good. Rebound Walton, outlet to McCarter. Dayton gets back on defense, though. Walton in the post. Gets it to Myers. Eight-foot banker is in there. UCLA pushes its lead back up to 13 points. As Donald Smith calls timeout. UCLA leads 35-22. Just over five minutes remaining in the first half. And the Flyers will look to score out of the timeout. That's Joe Fisher, number 33. Now Johnny Davis, number 14. Davis leans in, and it's good. Well, that's what you want out of a timeout. You want a basket. 11-point game. UCLA with the ball in the lead. That's Turgovich. Now Myers. He's going to take a 17-footer just beyond the free throw line. Perfect. 37-24 UCLA. Bad pass. Stolen McCarter comes out of there with it, gets it to Turkovich, who drives in and scores. UCLA now leads by 15 points. 39 to 24. The Bruins are on the verge of blowing this one out of reach. Jumper by Davis, tough shot. UCLA's lead is now 13 points. 39 26, McCarter. Marcus Johnson with a long jumper. It's short. Rebound into the shortest man's hands. That would be Donald Smith, six foot nothing. He finds Johnny Davis, six two, but he carried the ball on the dribble. Turnover, ball back to the Bruins. Turgovich gives it to McCarter, who brings it up the floor. Now Walton inside. 12 footer bounces in. Good shooter's touch by the big redhead. UCLA's lead is back up to 15 points. Davis with it. Now Alan Elijah driving baseline. Has his shot altered by Walton. Here comes Marcus Johnson leading the break, dishing to Turgovich, who scores. And the Bruins lead is their biggest of the game, 17 points. UCLA 43, Dayton 26. Jumper by Joe Fisher is good. 15 point lead for the Bruins. McCarter brings it up the floor. Walton to Myers. Walton posting up down low now. Gets it to Turgovich. 22-footer by Peter Turgovich is no good. Tap no good by Walton. And coming out of there with it is Jim Testerman. He dishes to Joe Fisher. And the Flyers want to show that they can run the floor too. Now a 13-point game. 43-30 UCLA. Turgovich with it. Now Walton. Gets it to Myers. Myers with a leaning banker that's good. Well, he's hit bank shots from both sides of the floor now. Bruins have their lead back to 15. Johnny Davis, number 14. Now Donald Smith, number 10. Testerman cuts through underneath, but he wasn't open. Davis couldn't get him the ball. Fisher calling for the ball at the high post. Goes to Elijah, number 44, back in the game. Turn around. No, we have a foul. Whistle, stop play. On the turnover, Johnson takes a shot. For UCLA, he gets his own rebound off the miss. And now he double dribbles. The turnover gives the ball back to the Flyers. That's Johnny Davis, now Donald Smith. Mike Sylvester, number 20. Bad pass by Fisher, but he gets it back. Gives it to Elijah. Now Davis. Elijah. Fisher. Fisher to Davis. Davis has it taken away by McCarter. McCarter, looking to push it up, pulls it back out instead. Dishes to Richard Washington, who's in the game. His shot's no good, but the follow is good by Walton. Richard Washington, number 31, 6'9", freshman for the Bruins. Just came into the game. He replaced David Myers, who's getting a breather. 
Joe Fisher with the ball. Smith with a jumper. He goes glass and hits. Now McCarter for UCLA, number 45 with the ball. Into Walton. Walton will take the shot, but a whistle stopped play. Looks like we have a call away from the ball. And here comes Dayton. Flyers with the ball, trying to get back into the game. They'd like to get it under double digits if possible by the time the halftime horn sounds. Donald Smith with the ball. Gets it into Fisher in the high post. He's going to take a jumper from there, and he bounces it in, and a foul. Foul away from the ball on Rich Washington. The free throw was good by Dayton. And now at the other end, the Bruins can't convert a 1 plus 1. We're approaching the end of the first half. Here's a jumper by Donald Smith. It rattles out. Richard Washington pulls down the rebound. He outlets it up to McCarter, but his pass is too far. At the buzzer, Donald Smith hits. That cut the lead from 14 to 12. And as we start play in the second half, both teams have their starting lineups in. But a bad pass by Greg Lee gives the ball back to Dayton, and they have a chance to cut it to 10. With the ball... Donald Smith. Now Mike Sylvester, now Joe Fisher. Alan Elijah drives in. Correction on Dayton. They don't have their complete starting lineup in there. They're leaving in Fisher instead of Vaughn Lehman. Jumper good by Smith. Cuts the Bruin lead to 10 points. UCLA 48, Dayton 38. Now a nice pass underneath to Keith Wilkes who scores. Bruins lead back up to 12. Fisher with the ball. Jumper by Sylvester is off the mark. Falls into the hands of Davis, who is fouled by Greg Lee. At the line, Johnny Davis will get two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. His first is good. Nice poise shown by the freshman as he hits both. And again, the Bruin lead is 10 points, 50 to 40. With the ball, Myers. He has it taken away by Alan Elijah. Now Donald Smith brings it up. Fisher, far wing, gets it to Elijah, who banks it in. Five-foot bank shot, not quite a layup. And here come the Bruins. Tommy Curtis gives off to Greg Lee. Tommy Curtis wears number 22 for UCLA. Here's Walton getting good low post position, but he overshot it. Too hard off the glass, and Sylvester pulls down the rebound for Dayton. Now Johnny Davis gets it to Donald Smith. Smith, jumper, off the mark, rebound to Greg Lee. Spins around to get it out of the backcourt. Gives it to Tommy Curtis, who goes baseline, forces a pass, and the Flyers come out of there with it. Not a good decision by Tommy Curtis. And here comes Johnny Davis for the Flyers. Mike Sylvester with the ball. Now Joe Fisher. Bad pass. He led Sylvester by too much, and his man couldn't get to it. Greg Lee brings the ball up the floor for UCLA. Now Curtis. Into Wilkes. Up above the free throw line. He's going to put the ball on the floor. Turnaround jumper by Silk from 20. Bounces twice. No good. Walton timed his jump to get it off the first carom, but it took a second bounce up there, so he wasn't able to get that rebound. Now Davis hits from 17. It's a six-point game now. UCLA, who led by 17 at one point, now only leads by six points. Here's Walton. Well, that's where you want to go when you need a basket. Bruin lead back up to eight. With the ball, Elijah, number 44, to Fisher, number 33. Call away from the ball, gives it back to the Bruins, who lead 52-44 in the early going here in the second half. Wilkes can't hit from three feet. He got in close, but couldn't quite get it in there. Now Elijah to Fisher. Dayton moves the ball very well. Davis with another shot. Good. Six-point game again as Curtis brings the ball up for UCLA. Tommy Curtis, number 22, senior guard. 
Now Dave Myers, a junior, into Walton, a senior. Greg Lee, another senior. What a tough shot. Looked like he was falling down when he shot that. It was either shoot it or travel. So he not only got the shot off, he got it through. Now Smith with the ball for Dayton. He forces a pass. Curtis comes out of there with it. Bruins have a three-on-one. Curtis to Lee. It's not there. Gives to Wilkes. Wilkes gets it to bounce in from an 11 feet out. Here come the Flyers. Timeout. Dayton wants a timeout. They've got the lead down to 10 still. They had it down to 6. They don't want UCLA to go on one of their patented blitzes here. Or they'll be in trouble again. Smith leans in. Nothing there. Gets it back out to Johnny Davis. Johnny Davis finds Mike Sylvester, number 20, to Fisher. Davis goes baseline. And what did he do? He stepped on the line? No, he was fouled. He was fouled by Pete Turgovich, number 25, who's in the game. Donald Smith with a jumper from 17. It's no good, but he's fouled by Tommy Curtis, number 22. At the line, Donald Smith for two shots. They are both good, and the UCLA lead is eight points. Turgovich gets it to Tommy Curtis. Turgovich, a junior. Wilkes, a senior, with the ball. His pass to Walton is knocked away. And here comes Donald Smith. Sylvester from 17, in there. Well, out of the timeout, Dayton has gone on a 4 nothing run. So once again, they got what they wanted out of a timeout. Now Tommy Curtis looking for an opening. Turgovich, Myers. Turgovich again, far wing. Doesn't take the shot, instead gives it out to Tommy Curtis. Now to Wilkes at the high post. Wilkes to Myers. Myers is going to take a jumper from 19 and hit it. David Myers puts the Bruins on top by 8 again. Now Smith for Dayton. Davis. Sylvester. Fisher. Davis. Boy, Dayton gets a lot of their players involved when they bring the ball on offense. Smith, his shot is short. Back tap. They can't control it. Dayton, that is. Comes out of there to UCLA. Wilkes to Turgovich. Turgovich can't hit the banker from seven. And Fisher pulls down the rebound for Dayton. The Dayton Flyers are trying to pull a tremendous upset here today. UCLA is the seven-time defending national champions. Donald Smith's shot no good. Rebound Walton. And his pass is thrown away. Elijah comes out of there with it. Gives it off to Smith. Smith to Davis. Back to Elijah. Smith sets up the offense from out front. Gets a screen by Sylvester. Goes around it. Dribbles. In. Shot from 18 is dead eye on. UCLA's lead has dwindled. There's a big shot by Walton. A big shot by a big man. With the ball, Mike Sylvester. Donald Smith dribbles it off his foot. That's going to give the ball to the Bruins. A much-needed break for UCLA. They've seen a 17-point lead dissipate considerably. Walton high post, dishes to McCarter. McCarter gets the ball knocked away. And we got a foul on McCarter, reaching in, trying to get it back. UCLA's lead is eight points. Dayton's had it down to six on several occasions. Here's another chance to do just that. With the ball, Smith. Sylvester. Fisher to Davis. Davis drives baseline, almost unguarded, but uh, there came Bill Walton over at the last minute to alter that shot. He forgot about the big redhead in there, and you don't want to do that. He's 6'11". There he is with the ball, kicks back out to Myers. Myers with a jumper from 18, it's off the mark. And here comes Dayton. With the ball, Smith. Nothing there, so he'll pull it back out and set up. Goes to Elijah near wing, now to Davis. Sylvester, 17 feet from the basket. He's going to put it on the floor and take a turnaround. 
short from 14 feet. Myers with the rebound. Here comes McCarter with the ball. Wilkes with a 20-footer. Long gets his own rebound. Takes another shot. Rims out. Myers, no good. Wilkes, a follow, no good. Four opportunities for UCLA, and they couldn't get one to drop. Boy, some of those looked like they were going to go right in there, too. Dayton with a chance to cut it to six again. Here's Smith. Banker off the mark. Walton pulls it down. Carter comes out of there with it. In the front court, Myers leaning forward. He's short, goes for his own rebound, and he's knocked to the floor. Not sure who they whistled for that, but uh, the contact was very evident. Myers, are you going to take another shot? He does. Nails it. And a foul. At the line, David Myers, 6'8", junior, number 34. Free throw good. Bruins have hiked their lead back up to 11 points. Davis to, uh, to Smith. Now to Sylvester. Sylvester, guarded by Wilkes, turnaround jumper over him is good. Nine point lead for the Bruins. Turgovich with the ball. Myers near wing to McCarter. McCarter at the point, dribbles into the lane. Banker too hard from seven. Rebound to Dayton. Here comes Davis, pushing it up. Dishes to Fisher. Fisher has his shot. No, he got it through. I thought, sure, there were two Bruin defenders coming over there, both of them big men, Myers and Walton. I thought, sure, one of them would get a piece of it, but they didn't. And traveling is called on Pete Turgovich. UCLA's lead. Here comes McCarter for UCLA. Turgovich with the ball. And he threw it off the hands of McCarter. Last touch by McCarter is the ruling. So Dayton has the ball with a chance to cut the lead to five points. UCLA 63, Dayton 56. Smith does just that. Five-point game, 63-58. We may have a barn burner before this one's over. With the ball, Keith Wilkes. 17-footer, he's got it. Right from the left elbow. Seven-point lead for the Bruins. Ball nearly stolen by Myers, but he knocked it out of bounds. Here come the Flyers with the basketball. That's Testerman, number 40, back in the game. Replacing Elijah, number 44. Turnaround jumper is good by Mike Sylvester. Bruin lead is only five again. McCarter has some trouble controlling the ball. Nearly had it taken away by Davis. He does get it. Now Wilkes puts it on the floor. Looking for Walton in the low post. It's kicked out of bounds by Jim Testerman. Now Dave Myers, number 34, gets it into Bill Walton. Turgovich with a 19-footer. Rims out. Tap by Myers, no good. Tap by Walton, no. They're going to call Walton for over the back. Dayton has a chance to cut the lead to three if they can get a basket here. Fisher with the ball. Under to Testerman. Testerman rolls it in, and it's a three-point game. Turgovich has trouble getting it in to McCarter, but does. Now Walton. He has been money when the Bruins have needed a basket. Maybe they should go to him every time down the floor because Dayton certainly has no one to match him. Testerman with the ball. Gets it to Fisher. Now Smith. Testerman. Fisher finds Sylvester underneath. Somebody fell asleep on defense for UCLA. And it's a three-point game once again. Turgovich into Walton. Back to Turgovich, 21-footer, no good. Rebound, pulled down by Jim Testerman. And we got a foul. Foul is on the Bruins. We skip ahead in the action here. And the UCLA lead is only one point now, as the two free throws were good. And now Sylvester gives Dayton their first lead ever. 
68-67, UCLA down by a point. They go into Walton, but he has it poked away. Scramble for the loose ball momentarily, and Johnny Davis of Dayton is the one who comes out of there with it, and he was fouled. At the line, Davis hits the first, is off on the second, and it's a two-point flyer lead. Bruins need a basket to tie. And I've said this before, they led by 17 points late in the first half. Now trailing by two. They need a good shot. Walton would be a good place to go, but he's pretty well covered. He's been double teamed with or without the ball. And Wilkes can't convert. And Dayton has a chance to hike their lead up to four points if they can get a bucket here. Sylvester. Sylvester has had one keen shooting eye tonight. Smith with the ball. All the Flyer players have shot well from the 15 to 20 foot mid-range game. They have been dead on with their shooting. Here's Sylvester with a turnaround. I think Wilkes got a piece of that. Looked like it and oh my goodness they're going to whistle Turgovich for an offensive foul. Tough break there. Dayton with the ball. Chance to push that lead back up to four again. Or for the first time. Chance again to push the lead up to four, I should say. With the ball, Johnny Davis. His shot is off to the right. Myers pulls down the rebound. Gets it to Greg Lee, who's back in the game. Lee replaced Turgovich. Lee wears number 43. I think Coach Wooden wants to get some senior leadership out there. McCarter with a shot from 19 feet. Tie basketball game at 69 all. With the ball, Donald Smith. Falling away, hits from 17. Right from the left elbow. 71-69. The Flyers lead by two. Here's Lee with a 23-footer. It's short, but we got a foul away from the ball, I think on Fisher. So the Bruins will take it out. And a jumper is good by Myers. Myers ties the game at 71 with a baseline jumper. With the ball, Fisher. Smith, 21-footer, is in there. Now both teams are hot from outside. Wilkes drives in and scores. Nice pass. He beat all the Flyer defenders down the court. We're tied at 73. Dayton looking to take the lead yet again. They've never led by more than two. They've led by that amount several times. Sylvester, man can he shoot. High arching rainbow shot right down the bottom of the well. 75-73. Flyers with the lead, Bruins with the ball. There's Walton. Banker. Rims out. Smith with the ball for Dayton. And boy do the Bruins need a defensive stop right now. Testerman gets it out to Smith. Smith, guarded by Wilkes, gets a screen by Sylvester. Now shoots over Myers. It's short. Ball falls into the hands of Marcus Johnson, number 54, who's in there. And now Wilkes is tripped up. they got to call the foul. Yeah, they got to call the foul on Smith there. Non-shooting foul. Interesting that Coach Wooden brings in the freshman, Marcus Johnson. Jumper good by Greg Lee from 23 feet. What a clutch shot. He's had a couple of those late. Good clutch shooting by both teams tonight. 75 all tie. Dayton with the ball. Sylvester gets it under to Fisher. Fisher drives in, scores, and draws the foul. Oh my goodness, he can put him up by three. And he got the bounce on the free throw too. Good shooter's touch, and it's 78-75 Dayton. And the Bruins' string of championships is in jeopardy now. Wilkes with the ball. Turnaround jumper from 16. Off the mark. Foul on whom? Fisher. Bruins get it. They're not in the bonus yet. They almost lose the ball on the inbound pass. There's Lee. Turnaround jumper from 16 is out. Walton with a putback. Talk about clutch. Big rebound and big putback by Walton. Draws the Bruins within a point. And we're approaching the two-minute mark here, and UCLA needs a stop. 
There's no shot clock in college basketball, so you got to figure Dayton's going to take nothing but good shots. That's Johnny Davis. Sylvester, offensive foul. He pushed off on Myers as he tried to drive the baseline. Looking for a basket that will put them ahead. Walton, fade away, no good. Just a little bit short. Smith with the ball for Dayton. He goes high off the glass and hits. Dayton's lead is three points again. UCLA needs a basket. 80 to 77 Flyers. Walton, that's the man they want. And he throws it away. Stolen by Smith. Smith nearly fouled in the backcourt. McCarter, Wilkes rather, trying desperately to get the ball back. But Davis gets it across for Dayton. Timeout. The Flyers call timeout. There's a minute 27 remaining in the game, and Dayton has the ball and a three-point lead. Lee reaching in is whistled for the foul. The Bruins almost had to foul there, and the freshman can't convert the free throws. He showed poise earlier, but not on that shot. Missing the front end of a one-and-one. One. Here's Myers with a jumper. It's off the mark. He gets his own rebound and puts it in. Big play by Dave Myers. It's a one-point game. Smith with the ball for Dayton. Lobs it over to, to Davis. To Fisher. Approaching the one-minute mark. Now under a minute to play. That's Sylvester. Fisher with it. Dayton playing keep away. They want to get a steal. Steal by Myers. He drives under and can't get it to fall, but he's fouled. At the free throw line, he misses the first. He gets two, though. And he's nails on the second. We're tied at 80. Less than 30 seconds remaining in the game. With the ball, Donald Smith. Dayton will definitely try and save it for the last shot here. There's no way they want to give the Bruins a chance to tie. Donald Smith hits, but they're going to wave it off as another Flyer player had called timeout. So the Bruins catch a break there. Sylvester had signaled for a timeout before Smith shot. Now with the shot again, Donald Smith. He's long on this one. Rebound to Sylvester, and his shot is blocked at the buzzer. We go to overtime, tied at 80. As we begin play, McCarter drives in and scores for UCLA. Fouled by Davis, but can't convert the free throw. We skip ahead, and the Bruins lead by four points, 84-80. And UCLA has the basketball after a Dayton turnover. Wilkes with the ball, number 52. Now Greg Lee. He finds Myers. Myers gets it to Walton, low post. Myers with a 16-foot jumper. It's no good. And that was a shot that just might have really, really put the nail in the coffin there for Dayton. There's a lot of time left here, but uh, you don't want to fall down six in overtime. Certainly not to UCLA. Bruins lead, however, stays at four. And now we're going to have a jump ball, I think. Yes, we are. I don't know if it's going to be between Walton or Myers and Testerman. Looks like it's Walton. So 6'11 Walton against 6'5 Testerman. And believe it or not, Dayton gets the ball. It fell into the hands of Sylvester, who unguarded goes baseline. And just like that, Dayton's right back in at 84-82 UCLA. With the ball, Lee now Wilkes. McCarter's in there now. Myers, and McCarter is fouled by Johnny Davis. Andre McCarter, the sophomore at the line, has a one plus one. He hits the first and a second. Very clutch free throw shooting by Andre McCarter. With the ball, Jim Testerman puts it on the floor. He's well covered by Myers. Now over to Smith, who's guarded by McCarter. Now Davis, back to Testerman, Smith, Sylvester. Every Dayton player has touched the ball on this possession. Shot blocked by Wilkes, but I guess he got a piece of his arm. And at the line, Sylvester 
We'll have two shots. He hits the first. His second is there. Well, why not? He's been hitting everything from the field. You'd figure he'd be pretty good from the free throw line as well. Mike Sylvester, a 6'5 senior, number 20, brings Dayton within two points. Now UCLA can play a little keep away, but uh, I'm not sure they want to go into a pure stall game here. But they will... Well, it looks like they are going to run some clock as Marcus Johnson and Greg Lee pass the ball back and forth. Looks like they want Dayton to come out and play more of a true man-to-man. -man. They've been kind of sagging into a zone a few times tonight. The Bruins know no team can match up against them one-on-one. -on -one. This Flyer team has been scrappy, though. They came within... A misplaced timeout call of upsetting the seven-time defending national champions, and they still have a shot. What do we have here? A whistle on Fisher. 86-84 Bruins at the line. Bill Walton. His free throw short, and we're going to have an over-the-back call on the rebound. They got Dave Myers, and that sends Fisher to the line, where he has a chance to tie this up. And he does just that. And UCLA needs a basket now. They can't play keep away and sit on a lead. They don't have one to sit on. With the ball, Greg Lee. Now Myers, way outside. Walton to Myers. Myers with a 19-footer. It's good. Myers has been very clutch tonight, as have several Bruins and several Flyers. Fisher with the ball. Davis. Smith, now Sylvester. you got to figure Dayton's going to want to go to Sylvester if they can. He's the high man. you got a foul, giving two shots to Sylvester. He was held as he was trying to cut through the lane. That's exactly the guy Dayton wants and exactly the guy UCLA does not want at the line, and he showed you why. We're tied at 88. The Bruins have the ball. One minute to go. And why in the world would they take a quick shot here? you got to figure... Gary Franklin, number 50 in the game for UCLA. you got to figure UCLA is going to save it for the last shot. With the ball, Lee. Lee and McCarter in the backcourt. Ooh, almost an offensive foul on McCarter, but the referee doesn't make a call. Now Greg Lee with it. And he and Marcus Johnson pass it back and forth again. Franklin. Cuts through the high post position, looking to help out as Marcus Johnson's covered. Now he gets it to Greg Lee. Under 30 seconds remaining. Lee has it knocked away momentarily, but gets it back. You can dribble it. And, oh, I don't think he realized he had a dribble. He gets whistled for a five-second count. But the Bruins get a break as Gary Franklin shags down the tip ball. Now here we go. Marcus Johnson takes a jumper from 15. It's off the mark. And looks like time's going to run out. No. No. Yes, it does. That's it. They, they called Davis for falling out of bounds, but it didn't matter. The horn had sounded. And we are in a second overtime. Tight at 80 for the first overtime. Tight at 88 for the second overtime. Sylvester with a fall away. No good. Here comes McCarter. Now Lee. Marcus Johnson in the game for UCLA. As well as Walton and Myers. No, Franklin is still in there. I take that back. Nice dish underneath to Marcus Johnson who scores. Bruins lead by two points. 90 to 88 UCLA. They've drawn first blood in both overtimes. Davis with a jumper from 18. Too hard. But he gets the rebound as Glee couldn't control it. Smith with the ball. Now Testerman. With the ball, Donald Smith. Spinning, dribbling, turning, shooting. Wow. We're tied at 90. Ninety. 
With the ball, Marcus Johnson. Now comes outside to Andre McCarter. He's a good ball handler. That's why he's in there primarily. Looking for Walton in the low post, but he's pretty well covered. Now he's got the ball. Kicks it out to Lee. Lee from 21 gets it into Walton, who swings a beautiful sky hook. Shades of Lou Alcindor, a 12 foot sky hook in the lane, and the Bruins are back on top. Now Fisher fakes a shot, loses it. And we have a whistle. They're going to whistle Gary Franklin for reaching in. He did bump the man. I thought they were going to let it go because the whistle came in kind of late. And it was Sylvester that he fouled. And why not? He hits both free throws. So here come the Bruins with the ball, looking for the lead. On the Bruin bench, I hear Gary Cunningham shouting out instructions. Greg Lee looking inside, Walton Now gets it to McCarter. McCarter dribbles far wing. Now Lee. Now McCarter. Walton, turnaround, banker, too long. Dayton has a chance to take the lead now as Sylvester corrals the rebound. Here comes Johnny Davis. Now Testerman gives it to Fisher. Fisher to Davis. Davis from 17 baseline. Off the mark. Walton pulls it down. Walton went up high for that rebound. Now the Bruins with the ball in a tie basketball game looking to take the lead. They have never trailed in the overtimes. They rarely trailed in regulation, but they did trail by three very late. Now Marcus Johnson drives in and, we're, oh, they're going to whistle Greg Lee for a foul as he drove the lane. That sends Sylvester to the line for two free throws and he hits both. Well, now Dayton's got a lead in overtime. Jumper by Lee is short and we got a foul on Testerman rooting out Walton. Now another foul on Johnny Davis on the inbounds play. That puts the Bruins into the bonus where Marcus Johnson... Hits two clutch free throws. UCLA has tied the game. Dayton with the ball. Chance for the win. Swinging hook shot is good by Sylvester. He has done everything tonight. Marcus Johnson drives in and scores. No, he doesn't. But there's Walton to tip it in. I thought sure he had that layup. He was right there, but there was Bill Walton with two tip-ups. He gets two rebounds on the play and two points. Turnaround jumper from 18 is good by Fisher and Dayton has the lead again. Bruins need a basket. There's Lee. Got it. We're tied again at 98. And now with only seconds remaining you gotta figure Dayton's gonna save for the last shot but they throw it away. Walton's gonna get the last shot. From 22 feet out, short, we go to a third overtime. Tied at 98. After a UCLA basket, the Flyers come on offense, trailing by two, 100 to 98. With the ball, Donald Smith. He fakes the shot, gives instead to Testerman. Fisher saves a bad pass. Now Smith back to Davis. There's Sylvester. He's the one, they, the one they want to have the ball, but not that far out. We got a steal by Franklin. He gets the pass back from McCarter and scores. Bruins by four. 102-98. With the ball, Smith. That could be a big turning play there. And we have a foul on Marcus Johnson holding... Sylvester as he tried to cut through the lane, so that'll send Mike to the line where he hits two more free throws. He's 8 for 8 that I've counted from the line. 36 points for Mike Sylvester. 102 to 100, UCLA leading by two points in triple overtime. Now Walton with the ball, gets it to Lee, back to Walton, low post, to McCarter, to Lee, 
Walton, six feet from the basket, gives instead to Lee. Gets an entry pass. No good. Tap by Marcus Johnson's no good. And coming out of there is Dayton. Dayton with a chance to tie. Trailing by two. The Bruins just cannot shake this team. Now Smith fakes the shot. Goes around McCarter. Now takes the shot. It rims out. Rebound to Marcus Johnson. Almost threw it away, but Lee corrals it. Looked like the Bruins were going to call timeout there, but I guess not. Coach Wooden rarely does. Jumper by Lee. Got it. UCLA by four. 104 to 100. Driving in and missing the layup is Davis, but he was fouled. At the line, Johnny Davis for two. Rims out. He'll get another. And the freshman is just not coming through in the clutch for Dayton. And the luck is turning from good to bad for Dayton as Joe Fisher saves it to the wrong team. He's wearing a white uniform. The Bruins are wearing the blue. He saved it right to Greg Lee. Now McCarter drives in. Boy, he got knocked to the floor. No call there. Sylvester brings it the other way for Dayton. He'll take a jumper from 14. He didn't get it. And now Walton has it knocked away by Fisher. And at the line, Bill Walton, with a chance to put the Bruins up by six if he can make both. He makes one. 105. One free throw good, one free throw no good by the big redhead. Bruins lead by five, 105 to 100. With the ball, Testerman, number 40. Now to Fisher. Fisher, bad pass. Great anticipation by Marcus Johnson. That freshman has all the tools of being a great one. UCLA with a chance to take a seven-point lead if they can get a bucket here. Lee with the ball. They'll be very patient now with a five-point lead in the basketball. We're halfway through the third overtime now. More than halfway through. Approaching the two-minute mark. And UCLA will only take good shots at this point. Marcus Johnson has it knocked away and out of bounds. Bruins will keep it. Walton, 25 feet from the basket, comes out to get the pass. Now the Bruins playing a little keep away there. Looks like the four corners, very similar type of offense. Marcus Johnson with a baseline jumper. UCLA now leads by seven. Sylvester can't hit. Lee with the rebound. Well, they didn't have the numbers there, so he slows it back up. Bruins will definitely use clock now as they are definitely in command. It's their game to lose. There's Walton. He breaks free and scores. Bruins by 9, 109-100. I think that just might do it. After a tremendous scare, UCLA seems ready to advance. Shot no good by Davis. Rebound Marcus Johnson. McCarter brings it across the midcourt stripe for UCLA. And the Bruins will use that clock. The Bruin contingent is on their feet cheering their team on. I tell you, this was some kind of basketball game. With the Bruins down by three and Dayton with the basketball and only a minute 27 to go, things look mighty bleak. Knocked away. Off of Bruin. Into the lane, Sylvester. His shot's no good. Partially blocked. Now Lee streaking down court. Will lay it up. No good, but there's a follow by Marcus Johnson and it's going to count. He got it in before the buzzer sounded. UCLA wins the game 111 to 100 in triple overtime. Final score, UCLA 111, Dayton 100.